Hello there, my name is William Burnson, and this is a compost sifter that I designed and built. And this is actually the second version of this compost sifter. And the last one has some crazy spider legs. This one has a much more solid frame. The rest of the design is basically the same. We modified the one that we had, made some changes, same motor. I guess we redid the frame. That screen is more permanent. The other screen was removable. You could swap it out. This one is not. This one's better. Better design. Same design. Same system basically. Slightly different frame for the sifter and then the legs. That's totally different, of course. And then so I'm gonna give you the basic dimensions in the description I'm just going to give you a 360 degree tour of it if I could so you see up underneath here that's attached right here this 2 by 2 that screen wraps all the way around the 2 by 2 two sides you see that two sides that 2 by 2 actually three sides use the washers on the bottom you'll need those washers that hold down that screen. Springs. Springs down here. Same springs I had before. The ones at the top are stiffer. Same plexiglass chute. The hooks. The angle's adjustable. Very simple design. I'll give you those basic dimensions. The length of those boards. Other version, the screen was swappable. We had a half inch screen and a quarter inch screen. We decided we weren't going to use any more half inch screen. We only wanted a quarter inch. It's more sturdy this way, makes a lot less noise. I oh, don't know. Stabbed into our screws here, that's not good. The old motor, this got, wire got loose inside here, came apart. This is the second motor. Clearly, we're going to need some screws here. I wish I might have taken care of that. See how we have it kind of loosely attached right here just to hold that cord where we want it. Otherwise, it'll hang on the side and it'll cut it in half, actually. The last cord got damaged. And all the adjustments. This one by eights, I believe. Yeah, those are one by eights even. Maybe one by tens. I'll confirm. Very simple design. These springs are a little stiffer. You put a lot of compost on that. Holds a lot of weight. Works very nicely. All this compost is dry. <clears throat> this is what they've been working on. It's very dry. Um, but yeah, it's even cool down there. It's some beautiful stuff. It's not very windy today. If it's windy, that dry stuff will just blow away. So you might need put a sign here or something like political sign we would use political signs or some big piece of cardboard or something to kind of block that area kind of give you a little wind break of course the very this is all the same basically the same design we took apart the old one reused most of the pieces the frame is totally new another shot at the chute itself Yeah, much better, much better. And I know they've been using it these last couple days to chew up this, let's see, but there was the old compost bins here. You can see there was some on this side and there was more on the other side. And then here you can see the remains of the compost bins. It rotted, they're getting ready to build new compost bins. Uh, cedar fence planks, mostly. New design, I mean, same basic design, but different. We're not gonna use pallets next time, we're gonna use cedar. And I think it's going to work fabulous. So we'll find some action shots from their work. Hopefully they got some good video of this thing in action. All right. Thank you much.
Okay, it is day two of our compost operation, and I just wanted to give you guys uh, a better video here of what our compost sifter looks like. So we've got, we call this the shake. It's the stuff that comes out of the sifter that is not going through the grate. You can see our quarter inch screen that we have on here. And then you can see all the good stuff that comes out here. So go ahead and crank it up, William, and we're gonna show you guys how this works. So we've got buckets of compost here. I've got children over here scooping out our old compost piles. You can see where we finished this row here. So we throw the bucket of compost onto the sifter. And we kind of help spread it around and get it through that grate. You can see those uh, eco pods do not compost very well. So we've got bones and manure that hasn't fully decomposed, lots of big wood chips, some pebbles and rocks. After we're done a pretty good job of taking it through there, we just send it through the sifter here. person just constantly emptying that because uh, you can see we've already hauled off 30 bags of compost that we've sifted. We've got more buckets here that we've already done but once we get going pretty quickly because we have so many people um, this wheelbarrow fills up pretty fast and so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna continue to sift all this material here. So I just wanted to show you some up close video of the sifter here working. So we have our on off switch here. You can see these springs on either side. Uh, they are what are holding this um, greeting basket in place. And as we're doing the sifting here, we can kind of break up these quads. We haven't had rain in a long time in, in the middle of the big drought, so our compost is really dry. As you can see here, we like to help it go back up the screen a little bit so we can make sure we've got all of it out. So I just wanted to show here how it's working. You can really be hands off in doing this and it'll eventually work its way down. Some people have commented that the angle is not steep enough or too steep, but you can see that the angle that we have it at right now is enough for it to sit on there and continue shaking itself without us having to be too hands on. And then when we feel like it's gotten all the material out, we can go ahead and help it down this chute and throw our next bucket on. And so here's some more footage of the sifter that I wanted to share. Now this is the, a little bit older version. It's the newer legs, but the, the sifter body itself is the older design before we redesigned it. And it works exactly the same as the new one. But this compost is much more moist than the other. And so it doesn't sift quite as well. But here's some more example footage for you. And stay tuned all the way to the end because I'm going to show you what the end results look like in our compost bins. Thank you very much. see here this is the spoils and it's got a lot of large chunks sticks but it's also got a lot of rabbit manure in there
all these little pellets these are all this is all rabbit manure that hadn't broken down sufficiently enough to get through the screen so by screening this stuff we're kind of filtering out the rabbit manure but it just leaves some for the spoils too you know i assure you there's plenty of manure in that uh screened material but you can see how much of it is left over here to kind of seed the next compost pile you can see here this is the bottom of one of these bins this is the good compost that's left over I'm getting ready to shovel that out you can see here how you get to the bottom and it's just that clay and there's like no mixing there's like a clay floor in this bin where you look we scraped it right down so we're gonna sift this and then we're gonna we have a nice clean bin here with a clay floor for our brand new sifted material once again see there's plenty of rabbit manure left over so we have do have some manure in this other pile these spalls pile four to six months this is going to be some really nice stuff down here in the bottom of this bin come closer I saw lots and lots of worms and ants and roly polies in this shed here. Man, that's just beautiful.